Hello everyone, welcome to LifeCast. Uh, it's it's use up uh, leftover stuff day. I like that. Uh, I opened the fridge looking for what I could make. I'm always fond of using things up. I saw some uh, bacon, I saw some Parmesan, I saw some cream, so we're making a carbonara. Nice. Simple little carbonara. I've cooked about uh, half a pound of bacon. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> gotta get used to my new little thing here. Please tell me you'll cut that out. That's why I got two cameras done. I've, uh, I've cooked about a half a pound of bacon. It's just getting to the crispy point. Now, traditional carbonara, is made with like spaghetti. I suppose you can use anything. And I'm using this, orzo. Orzo, which is, it's an actual pasta. Can you see that? Of course. Oh my God, go show clothes. Look, it looks like rice, it's an actual pasta. So I'm using that. Uh, asparagus is not a typical add to it, but I'm gonna add it because, because I want to and because we can. So I'm just gonna cut these into little pieces. You cook the orzo about uh, eight to 10 minutes. They have been in the water, the orzo look, has been in the water about four or five minutes. So I'm gonna add this asparagus. Just throw it in, let it all happen at the same time. Ah, hot. That's ready. Let's just do one more little junk of these to go in. And that will just cook the same time the orzo is finishing, right? So, here's what we need. Back up for a sec, Junior. I need some cream, which is here. I need an egg yolk, which is here, which will be here. And I need some Parmesan, which is here. I mean, look, I'm down to the bones on all this stuff. So, in a little bowl, I'm gonna put one egg yolk. You know how to separate an egg, right? Yeah. Like that, and like that. Get rid of this mush, get rid of that. So just the yolk. Assuming you don't have a separator. Uh, you don't need a separator when you've got hands, young Maxwell. And now, take a fork. Turn this down a bit. A quarter cup of cream in here that looks like one, two, three, four tablespoons. Beat that up. Splatter. Good. Let's check out and see what's going on here. Beautiful. Asparagus needs two minutes. Yours all, I can see, still needs a couple minutes. Well, look at me. I'm, I'm ready with almost nothing to do. So here, while we're waiting, let's just get a little Parmesan ready, shall we? People will just put my things back where I know they go. I'm not even freaking here, man. I'm looking for my microplane zester, which is nowhere to be found. So we'll just get this cheese happening. Parmesan. I mean, I used to buy the pre-made Parmesan, sorry, the pre-shredded. It's just not nearly as good not even close to being good. So I like to buy a wedge of it now. And look, it's definitely more expensive, but it's really outstanding. The flavor is 10 times the stuff that comes pre-shredded in a bag. And I'm hot, all of a sudden I'm super hot. Are you hot? Mm -hmm. oh. I need like all of this. Oh, this is gonna be very good. Let me just get this little kid here. Mm. 
All right. So we want to hang on to a little bit of the pasta water to help thin this. And whenever you're making pasta, keep back a little bit of the pasta water. Because if you need to thin something, it's already got the flavor of the pasta in it, right? As opposed to using just water like out of the sink. So I'll keep a little bit of this right here without asparagus in it. There's that. And now this is done. So let's strain this. And the asparagus has cooked while the orzo was cooking. And now we come over here. There's our crispy bacon. I like the grease in here. You're going to be fine with that. Let's get this a little hot. And that goes in. So now let's mix this. Just get the flavor of the bacon through everything here. We'll add a little of the pasta water now. And ready, the egg goes in. And the egg and the cream are going to start to check this out. Oh, it's nice. Look at, look how beautiful creamy this is going to get. Lovely, right? The cheese goes in. The rest of this little pasta water. Turn this down. Look how beautifully creamy this is. Okay, two things, Max. Of course, salt, but heavy pepper. There's nothing like Parmesan. The egg, this pasta, with a good dose of fresh ground pepper here. Boom! This is going to be unbelievable. It's done. Let's just look at a little of it right here. That, maybe a little extra cheese on top. And we're done. Check it out, check it out, check it out. You've got the asparagus in here that cooked perfectly along with the rest of the orzo. That's a nice bite. Mm. Bacon, pepper, cheese. Oh my God, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. All right. Yes, my bacon was already cooking when you came in. Yes, my water was uh, boiling and had pasta in it. But I could go from nothing to this literally in 20 minutes. You don't have time for dinner? Oh, I think you have time for dinner. And when it's this delicious, you got to make time for dinner. Mmm. Mmm. Unbelievable. All right. Thanks for hanging out. Um, come back again for more great food in not very long. And follow me at The Cooking Guy on Instagram, Facebook, and what's that other thing? Twitter. See ya.